Well, uh, my topic addresses all the above. So physicians who are interested in purchasing lasers, as well as the physicians themselves, if they'll be practicing uh, with the lasers, uh, in addition to you know, allied health professionals, nurses, PAs, other people within the office who will be handling the lasers uh, in addition to the physicians. Well, the first thing I think that's probably of most paramount importance is finding a mentor. So I did that through a formal fellowship setting um, where I spent a one-year fellowship in a practice here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. But there are other ways of going about doing it, uh, in including identifying mentors within a society. So I think ASLMS is the best international leader as far as lasers, uh, lights, and energy-based technologies. So just come to this meeting. Uh, learn from this meeting. There are didactic sessions. You can approach uh, the key opinion leaders, the people, the laser and light luminaries that we look up to. They're very kind and approachable. And speak to them one-on-one. -on -one. Can I come visit you in the office? Can I spend some time with you? I think that's uh, a very important thing to do. Speak to your colleagues as well. How have, have they got it started? Who mentored them? Uh, I think it's very important to have someone guide you through the process. Well, uh, educate yourself. Try and learn as much as possible. It's, it's quite a large investment to bring lasers and lights into your practice. And if you are going to delegate uh, to other providers, make sure before you do that, you know the device inside and out. You know everything about it. You've treated patients. You know the parameters. You're able to instruct your staff because ultimately, in the, at the end of the day, uh, if something comes up, you're the one who's responsible. So it behooves you to be as highly trained and educated as possible.